Hey, this is Frank from Marketing Madness. And in today's video, I want to share how we can find possible LinkedIn contacts. So I'm going to give you a scenario. Let's say I lived in Jacksonville in Florida and I was going to be running an event for CEOs in the local area. I want to find some of those CEOs, uh, connect with them on LinkedIn. And of course, LinkedIn is the best place to go and connect with these people. Where am I going to find these people? So again, there's a couple of things we can do. As we can see here, we can go into Google. We can type in CEO Jacksonville, see what comes up here. And it'll take you into a few places. So it'll show you that person, what they're doing. There's another one over there. There's a few over there. And you can look through. Yeah, but geez, it's really time consuming. I want to get to them straight away. Now, what I could also do is I could just jump straight into LinkedIn. Yeah. And I could do a search. I could just put in CEO Jacksonville, hit enter. Uh, and there we go. I've got a lot of people. I can go in and connect with them, see all the people, all of the results. 5,700 results, not bad. But if I want to do something even better, now, you know what LinkedIn wants you to do? They want you to buy their sales navigator. Man, that's like a hundred bucks a month. And if you're a small business, that's a lot of money. But again, it's a brilliant tool. But I'm going to show you a little workaround. This is something that I used. Uh, it's called Recruiting.net. R-E-C-R-U-I-T-I-N dot net. And it does a great LinkedIn search for you. Because what I want to do is I want to find these people. Then I can connect with them softly on LinkedIn. Send them some great information. And then maybe invite them to our event. It's free. No obligation. So if we start over here, the country, you would choose the country you want to. So it's going to be in the United States. The job title. Now, what you think called Boolean? As I type in, it's going to bring up other job titles. So I'm going to type in CEO. Or are they going to be called a president? Ah, can you see how it's bringing up CEO, president or owner or managing director? So it's going to search for anybody with those titles. <clears throat> and I want them to be in Jacksonville. And I can put in, I can exclude words, I can do all kinds of stuff there. Uh, but I'm just going to go find the right people on LinkedIn. Remember, there was 5,000 that we found on LinkedIn. If we go in now, there we go, 1.5 million. What a difference to just going on to LinkedIn. So here we go. These are all of the people on LinkedIn that have got CEO or president or vice president or leader in the Jacksonville area. And I can now go through all of these people. And what I also want to do is I want to qualify them before I'm going to connect with them. So what I do is I just do a little right click on them quickly, opening their tabs. I'm going to take a look and see if they're involved in LinkedIn, because it's no good connecting with somebody who's just put up a profile and never done anything else. They're never going to see anything from me. So I would go into them there. I look for a couple of things, nice background. I look for a nice photograph, 500 plus connections. That's good over there. Have a look at the activity. That's really important to me. Uh, there's some activity going on there. I like that. Is he posting? Uh, yeah, there's some posting going on there a little while ago, but it's great. So this is the kind of person I want to connect with. I go to the next one over here, take a look at them. Read a little bit in the About section, and there's another thing. Your About section, you've got about four lines to capture the attention of anyone that's looking at your profile. Write it in the first person, not the third person. So I'll go into this here. He's got 500. He's got 2,200 followers, so he's pretty popular over there. We'll show all of the activity. And again, I want them to be active. So yeah, 17 hours ago, he was active on you. I like that posted a week ago. So yeah, this is the kind of person I would go in, I would connect with, and I would write a great message. Don't just add there you want to connect. So write a great message. Uh, I might be, um, I run a CEO networking group in the Jacksonville area, and I came across your profile on LinkedIn, and I just thought it would be great to connect with you. And if you have any interest in coming along to one of our free networking meetings, it's great. You're going to meet some other great business leaders and it's a win-win for all. So you've got to write a great invitation there, but you can see how I go through and I qualify people. 
So two things I look at if they don't have a background, if they don't have a picture and they haven't posted anything, I'll just hit the delete button. Similar thing, you've got to have that background and photo, otherwise I don't even go any further. So there we've had him. Uh, so there it is, how you can go in and find people if you're going to be running an event or if you want to start a club, a Facebook group, anything, or you just want to connect to people in your area. That's a great way to go. Remember that, recruiting.net. Hey, this is Frank. Thanks for watching Marketing Madness. Oh, by the way, I've put together a great cheat sheet with 30 different tips and ideas on LinkedIn. It's yours for free. Just take your phone, hold it up, get the QR code. That'll take you in and you'll be able to download the free ebook. I love LinkedIn. I'm going to give you some awesome tips for free there. Also, hey, listen, if you like this video, like it, comment and share. Hey, this is Frank from Marketing Madness. Thanks for watching.